This is Benny's birdhouse. She's really good about guarding her eggs, but she's not very good about taking care of her house. She's chewed the bejeebies out of this one. Just tore the whole side of it out like she wanted to escape. So I decided to build her a new one. Let me show you how I did it. picked up some red oak panels started chopping those into the sidewalls and the floor I've got a sharp finishing blade on this chop saw so it does a really good job cutting nice and smooth got everything laid out and started prepping my project cutting the sections up getting a box made does anybody else spend a lot of time looking at the project and thinking about the next step I also got a couple of draw catches and a couple of hinges and I'm going to use six by one and a quarter inch construction screws. These are Phillips. I like them if they're torques better, but this is what I have. So now I'm going to put pilot holes and countersinks into all of my pieces and I'm going to glue this all together. I went through and made sure everything was matching up nicely. Pretty easy to do when you have finished wood. It's, it's pretty straight to begin with. See the smoke coming off of the drill at this point. I was had it turned up a little bit too high, I think. Is it bad if your project catches on fire while you're drilling? Tell me your opinion on using clamps versus just screwing everything together. Is there a reason to use clamps if you're if you're using screws all throughout the project? I think things hold together just fine just by screwing them in, but I think uh, some people have strong opinions on using clamps too. And make sure you wipe all the glue up. Glue's messy. 
And I found out if you leave it on your Levi's too much, it actually dries and never washes out. So wipe your fingers off on a rag, not on a rag or paper towel. Not on your pants. Is it even Saturday if there's not sawdust everywhere? Time to dry off outside, Benny. Shake off those wet drips. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. Use the planer a little bit to get the edges nice. It's oak, so it doesn't sand as fast as pine wood. And this is the point where I realized that I do not have a hole saw that's the right size. I, my set goes up to two and a half inches. And in this case, I needed two and three quarters. So I called my buddy Nate up and he, he came running over with his hole saw set. And it turns out his hole saw set was more complete than mine was, but he did not have a two and three quarters either. So I was forced to go and make my own hole. So I drilled a hole out that was big enough to put my jigsaw blade through and I cut it out kind of like a sun, sun shape, making lines out to the edges of the circle. And then I started cutting it out like a, kind of like a pie, one little piece at a time. Then I realized, well, it's not very circular at this point, so I put a paddle-type sander on my drill and tried to sand it out and make it more round. And in the end, I had to get my my circle, little circle drawer thing and cut out a couple more sections there to make it make it big enough. I was just, tr just trying to make it big enough and round enough that that special fitting would fit into that hole and keep it, keep it closed up keep it so that Benny can, couldn't chew on the corners. Went on to put the clasps on the end of the birdhouse. Once again, showing how much I need to use a sander because my cuts weren't perfect. Then I had to add some other pieces on for make it fit on the cage the way it's supposed to. It just needs to have enough support that the whole birdhouse doesn't drop down. Is the project even done if you haven't taken a picture with it? Wanna come check out your new house, Benny? Check out your new house? This one, what do you think of that house? What do you think? So the original one came with this piece of hardware, this cover to keep her from chewing on the front of it. She'll probably chew up the inside, but that, that should stay okay. That's an inch and a half of oak now, so that should take a little while. I had to add these pieces at the bottom because that is gonna help space the, that's where the next rail is on the inside of the um, cage. So that holds it up where it needs to be. I should have thought of that before I started it and then I could have made the front piece that tall. But the original one, you know, she chewed the post off of it and chewed the bejeebies out of the inside. And it had a really crap, you know, these, this is the bad thing about buying the bulk stuff that they sell. This is just not a very strong latch, not very good hinges. So I really beefed up the new one. This is quarter inch wood. The new one is, is one inch. And, you know, this one is very light. Probably doesn't even weigh six ounces. I don't know, that might be the 12 ounces. It's pretty light though. But she tried to chew her way out here and she was getting real close to the point where she was going to escape. So, um, built this one. All out of oak to make it harder to chew on. Bigger hinges, double clasps on this side, so that's a lot more secure. There's no chance for you opening that. It opens all the way. Uh, then I put I have three bolts holding holding the whole thing up onto the cage and then I'll have a couple screws down here just to help support it a little bit more. Uh, what else did I do? So I had to double up the front here and that gives me the space so that I can open the door without hitting the side of the cage. This is really really tight right now but that will break in after opening it several times it'll start to squish the wood there and then this will open real nice but that'll keep it tighter longer having it that, that snug. I'm pretty pleased with how this whole thing turned out and hopefully this will last for a long time for her. And believe it or not, I'm actually building her a garage too. That's my next project. And I thought I'd leave a receipt so you can see the cost of the wood in 2021.